to my viewers and listeners. It is your girl Melody Alme Bird, and welcome back to episode 11 of Melody Alme TV, the podcast. Yay! You're supposed to clap. You're supposed to clap. If you guys are listening or if you guys are watching, you guys can see that I have Mr. LaDante Lott as hey. my interviewee today as a guest on Melody on May TV, the podcast, yeah. a.k.a. Jig Aerobics. If you don't know about him, he is the GOAT of Jig Aerobics. <laughs> Go to fitness, having fun with working out Facts. and just having fun. So, LaDante, tell them about you. Man, first of all, I just want to say thank you for having me. Like, yeah. It's an honor to be here. I mean, like, I've been seeing a lot of, like, you know, your episodes. You've been having some hitters. Yeah, you've been having some hitters, so just for you to be like, man, let's connect, let's be on a podcast. Oh, most definitely, yeah, <laughs> most <Please>. definitely, <laughs> without a doubt. So yeah, let's go. Let's Whatever I'm here, I'm an open book. I'm ready to spread the knowledge. I'm ready to spread the love, and you know, of course, spread the cheese. Spread the cheese. <laughs> I love it. Like I've been loving what you've been doing. You've been doing some great things. I appreciate. You've been that. having some hitters on here, just just spreading the love, spreading the knowledge, and spreading just the positivity into the world, man. Yeah. It's a lot of people that's not taking the leap and not taking those things that the world needs you yeah. know what I'm saying so I appreciate you for having me yeah definitely that's one but what's good everybody y'all already know is LaDante Lots aka Mr. Ayote here to have a good and blessed day yeah. <laughs> look we're gonna go on here to get into it I'm here with Melody Alme TV the podcast the podcast <laughs> let's go man we in LA yes we're in LA currently LaDante is actually visiting from Houston Facts. how we actually know each other if you guys haven't been following our whole journey with being a part of Southern University but we know yeah. each other because we went to the same college, the Southern University. Southern University, you know yes. what I'm saying? Human jukebox, yes. you know what I'm saying? Southern University, fabulous dancer dogs. Right, you know of course. Saying? And what, um, what um, instrument did you play? I played the trumpet. The I trumpet. played the trumpet, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like, the trumpet, you know, we we do our thing. Right. <laughs> no, for real, y'all. Like, they list was busted up. <laughs> Liz was busted up from playing that trumpet. That's how you and know. Like, and that's how you know you're doing yeah. something. If your lip ain't, I'll just play. That's too much, man. That's, that was a lot of work. Y'all was blowing. We, we work, bro. We put in, nah. But what about y'all? Y'all just be on them toes all day. Yeah. Y'all yeah. be on them toes like, hey, don't get me wrong. The girls would put on some work too, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so it wasn't just, you know, the horn players and the, the band. The girls yeah. really, I, I respect y'all. Like, Tell them about your experience with being a part of the, the jukebox. Man, so, I mean, you know, of course, you know, I'm from Houston, so the culture was different, you know. Yeah. In Houston, like, you know, uh, we got bands, but mostly important, like, they, they really focus on sports, you know what I'm saying, Houston. So just coming to Louisiana atmosphere, that like, was a whole culture shock for me yeah but it was lit i was ready like yeah. you know what i'm saying i knew i already did a lot of research i already knew what i was coming into i already mm -hmm. knew that this was excellence and greatness so he does standards were high we was gonna put in a lot of work it was gonna be a lot of practice and i was ready for that i didn't want to go to a school where i knew that oh it's gonna be a cake walk and mm -hmm. we're gonna get blue on at least one time a year we play southern university no yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, that's why, I, like, you know, that's really why I choose Southern. But, like, my whole experience, you know, of course, freshman year was, you know, that just learning about it. But then they made me a part of the dance committee, you know? Yes. So they made me a part of the dance committee and made me over the dance routines. Yes. My first dance routine was Alcorn State University 2014. You got, you got to pull it up. Oh, I'm going to yeah, pull it the up. Yeah, the dance routine for that, that was bomb. Right. That was the first dance routine that went viral. Yeah. Then we did the whip. Like, that was, like, when it first came out. Uh -huh. And like we we had like seven. And then they name? Yeah, it was like it was dope. It was dope. Like now nah, this was like before it was like the whip and nay even came out. We did the whip and nay probably like when we went to UGA. I think that was a following year. Mm -hmm. Or a couple of games after, no, I think that was 2015. Okay, yeah, yeah. 2015, yeah, uh -huh. we did the Whip and Nay Nay, mm -hmm, and yeah, Chris Brown that. reposted. Oh, I didn't even know that. Chris Brown reposted it. Chris oh, Brown, so it's like, man, yeah. I, this was the first year, but the, I mean, of course, we had the internet, so I'm not gonna just say like the things that we were doing made these artists like, you know, repost this stuff, mm -hmm. but because we had the internet, and because we was able to showcase what we were doing on the yard, we was able to easily accessible, like, artists was able to see that, like, oh, that's lit. They, yeah. oh, let me repost it. It's a mood, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You did that. You so, did that. Man, I'm just gonna say I just took what the human jukebox and the structure that was already set, the foundation that was already there, and I just put the spin on it. Like just like somebody gonna take what we did and make it ten times bigger, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I just yeah. yeah of course he's gonna be humble about it, but he did that. He definitely did that. He put that choreography together and made it viral nice. because he's just so creative. And I really love his energy. As you guys can feel it, even if you guys are just tuning into audio, if you guys are listening on all our audio 
cardio platforms. Y'all should feel this energy. Like his energy is contagious. <laughs> Just earlier we were filming some content for Instagram and TikTok. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Content, coming content, soon. content coming soon. Content coming soon. Oh yeah, some nice content yes. too. Good energy, good vibes. Yes. So we went to Runyon Canyon Park in the Hollywood Hills. And Thanks. also we went to Beverly Hills. Beverly and y'all we went Hills. Yes. <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> Look, it was lit out there. Literally just creating stuff off the dome. Just going. Yeah. Just, just flowing with it. Like, just literally setting up the camera. And just go. And just pass the record. Nothing to think about. Nothing. Because you got good energy, too. I mean, you talk about my energy, but you easy to work with. Really? Like, yeah. Like, you got to think about it. Like, you you beautiful, no? Like, I know she got a boyfriend. Literally, <laughs> like, but, like, you beautiful. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, working with other beautiful women is kind of be like a, like, you pulling teeth because they always have, like, this guard up as if you want to talk to them. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, look, baby girl, let's, let's create. <laughs> Let's, let's, work. let's work like yes. I'm trying to connect I'm trying to vibe most importantly let's make some money and make an yes. impact together you yes. know what I'm saying That's the most so important. I think today was like our start of us like yeah. just like feeling each other vibe and knowing like okay I see what he own I see yes. what she own you yes. know what I'm saying yes. let's keep yes playing. exactly and I love the energy we was in the middle of the street just set up the camera <laughs> <laughs> just inside the palm trees effect and the cars was just stopping blowing, blowing. <laughs> like we was just taking up traffic he didn't care if people was watching him oh, like yeah. I, I told him earlier like my friends usually they be like oh my gosh let's just wait until these people pass that they're watching us and that's really annoying as a creator so yeah, it's nah. really good to that you're just so comfortable with just being you and like people were passing like what's your instagram hey, yo, i want to <laughs> follow that energy because yeah, right, right, i, I want right, to know right. what you up to they just stopped just to watch him dance and Man, wear his cowboy hat it's really just the energy like i don't mind being watched like you know what i'm saying like i mean this the god gift talent like they're just like i don't mind being listened to this is a gift from god you know i may not have the best voice and i may not have this but it's someone out there that's going to relate you know what yeah. i'm saying and i may not be the best dancer but my dance is my dance and that's how i feel it so when i'm out and i'm just in my vibe and i'm creating most importantly i'm working man, i'm not worried about what nobody got to say mm -hmm. most of the time they gonna stop what they doing yeah, to watch you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. so oh well just let them watch and it's <laughs> like if they are mad or like they upset about something they see you smile in it. literally they can't help but smile and be like let me just stop don't change watch. the vibe yes. look we was in traffic and you could tell like some people be in a rush yeah but like we're oh like God. you know we're trying to get our video in real uh -huh. quick but like they see us smiling and we like you know sorry like my bad they're yeah. like no keep creating i love it i love what you're yeah. doing oh uh, what are you making tiktoks youtube that sets the difference your smile your energy yeah that's like it's gonna get you in places that your talent may not yeah like, definitely mm. definitely and just word of mouth like people stop them and ask them about like what's his instagram what's his drink robics yeah. and we're gonna get into that as well but before we, we i know we getting right into it oh we're we 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 going we flowing it's the energy yeah, it's, it's the, the cheese it's the energy it's, it's the, the cheese, cheese baby it's the cheese yes <laughs> so if you guys are tuning into this episode and you guys are listening make sure you rate this video five stars on spotify amazon music any type of listening platform wherever and, you coming from wherever you coming from oh, my mom. and if you guys are watching on patreon Patreon. Thank you guys so much for joining my Patreon. It's just exclusive content just for you. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you guys go smash that subscribe button and join the May Baby family and smash the notification bell so you know whenever I make a post and thumbs up the video. And let's go ahead and get into episode 11. Let's go. All right, Ladante. So let's just go ahead and start off with Jig Aerobics. Tell Facts. us about Jig Aerobics, your brand, your business. Facts. So I'm not going to lie. So I started Jig Aerobics at Southern University. This was like my sophomore year, going into my junior year. At first, like, you know, it was just a group of us just getting together, like having fun on campus. Mm -hmm. I was a part of an organization. And of course, the president was an alpha. So, you know, I had to call yeah. me no correct. Y'all know, you know he's a, if you guys are listening, he's an alpha. On me, Beta Sig, <laughs> Southern University. Fall 16. Okay. Yeah, my bad. The energy changed. <laughs> no, no. The energy no, changed it immediately. Change. You know what I'm saying? It didn't change. First but fam, anyway, first yeah, yeah, first fam. Yeah, Come on, beta sign, beta C. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now, nah, but uh, but definitely that was an experience. We're gonna talk about that too. We all had to have an initiative to be on campus. Like, what you gonna bring? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna do a dance class, you know? But I'm like, man, everybody don't dance, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a dance fitness class. I'm gonna do a jigging class. I'm going to do jigger size, you know? 
So for, now, for like, people who don't know who jigging is, yeah. explain what jigging so is. So jigging started in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's a fast paced dancing. You moving your whole body. It, of course, it evolved over the years. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You gotta go look it up. If you if you're out there, stop this video right now. Go look up jigging. No, don't stop it. Yeah. You can wait till the end. Yeah. Look up jigging. <laughs> look like you're gonna see a lot of like you know fast paced movement with your knees, with your legs. That southern style culture just all mixed in one. And mm -hmm. you know that New Orleans bounce that that that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, you gonna feel uh, it. Yeah. Go see it. Go see it. Go check it out. You gonna really love it. But we took that style and we mixed it with aerobics. You mixed it with your basic high knees, your jumping jacks. I just took what you were doing in PE in physical education and I made it fun. Yeah. I make it fun. I just want to make fitness fun. And that's what we did on campus. So we started doing classes every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Call it Two Lit Tuesday. No, like at first. I remember that. It was like you know it was small. Some people would come. Like by the time you got on campus, it was lit. Like yeah, you know it was what I'm lit. I remember. Yeah, it was lit. Yeah. By the time you got I can't, it was lit, but like the growth from there, it was like two people, five people, and like just some of my friends sometimes. But it was one girl that would always come. Her name Shantae Harvey. She would always be there. Shout out to you, Shantae. Shout out to Shantae, man. She <laughs> would always be there, like no matter where, no matter how many people was in there. She was like, she told me one day I had a, a bad, like I had just was, it was just a bad day, and I just was like, I don't know what was going on, and I just was like frustrated. And I kind of got frustrated with them because they wasn't picking up the moves, like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and like it, it like man. Yeah, Jig and Rope has evolved too. Like, mm -hmm. and myself evolved. But like, cause like my nurse was bad. Uh -huh. And then like, I was like, I don't know what happened, but she pulled me to the side. She was like, look, listen. I don't know what you had going on today, but don't let that happen no more. Mm -hmm. She was like, this is what you do. They're like, I come to your class to feel good. Now, I never looked at it in this perspective. I always mm -hmm. just looked at it like, we're having fun. Mm -hmm. This is something for the students. Mm -hmm. I never looked at it like, Oh, this is a fitness class yeah. and this is changing lives. Mm. I never looked at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Shantae made me look at it like that. Miss mm. Nina in the front office made me look at it like that. Like, mm. hey, this is what you're doing. Like, do you see this? Then the class started to grow. Then I started the the, the choreography, I started to, to simmer down on it. Now it's not not super challenging. Like we gonna bring it down. It's gonna you gonna move. To level one. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna move yeah, for sure. There's levels to it. Oh, it's levels to uh -huh. it. But you gonna move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we brought the choreography down so that way it could be more aerobics, more fitness, you know what I'm saying? And we'll be able to attract not just your dancers and your high intensity trainers. Now now you're attracting like your beginners, your elderly people, you're attracting everybody now. You know what I'm saying? Then we started to get outside the like, you know, outside of Southern. I started to work with CrossFit gyms. I started to work with different schools and universities. And this is how I started to expand and grow into a business. Like I said, we were fun. This was fun. This was with my friends. This was with my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're not even thinking business. We're not thinking money. We're not thinking this. We're not, right. we're just thinking connect with people. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh -huh. So once I, the shifts came and I seen that I was able to make money, I was seen out that this was actually changing people's lives and people was loving this. And this was something different. And think about how we took something negative which was jigging, a perspective that's rolling off of pills. That's was something negative. Mm -hmm. We took that negative content and made it into something positive. Mm -hmm. So now when you think of jigging, you think of jig aerobics. Mm -hmm. Now when you think of jigging, you think of working out. You mm -hmm. think of moving your body. Yes. You think of fun. You think of cheese. Yes. You think of energy. You think uh -huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're not thinking of that. Like, we took that. Like, now we, we done changed the whole concept. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I call it? What? Cognitive reframing. Ooh. Cognitive reframing. We changing your whole mindset. Now, a lot of people don't know that I went to school for therapeutic recreation. Mm -hmm. I changed my major. Mm -hmm. it, like, I went, at first I was in school for mass communication, yeah. changed it to therapeutic recreation so that way I could understand more about the human body. You know what I'm saying? But for recreational purposes. Therapeutic recreation. You know what I'm saying? So this is all your therapy. Your music therapy, aromatherapy, physical therapy, dance therapy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All for recreational purposes. You know what I'm saying? So this is what Jigger Robes is. And of course it's going to grow into something more. But like, it's been a blessing. Like, of course we've been on ABC Shark Tank. Hey, shout out to that. Tell them about your experience on uh, Shark Tank. Oh, man. That, uh, that was great. Oh, y'all. I remember me and Maya, we were watching. <laughs> that and literally screaming through the TV we was like oh but did yes, did you call me? You ain't yes, called. Like, did y'all yes. call me? You, you did again. You did that. Yeah, yeah. My mama, like, man, I ain't no, gonna lie. Like, we were so 
proud like we were so like literally chills like it's so inspiring to see people that we went to college with people that we close to just yeah. like thriving and like on on our tv screens and inspiring us through like your brand and you're very passionate about what you do it literally leaks on to everybody else you Thanks, know man. i appreciate that it really means a lot because like i said i look at you like a heavy hitter like you know like, I'm just out here just doing, I just like to dance. Mm -hmm. I like to make people happy. The fact that I can make a living off of it is great. Mm -hmm. You know, that's definitely a blessing, you know. But honestly, I'm just out here trying to connect with like-minded people like, like yourself. Mm -hmm. And let's see how we can change the world. Yeah. That's what other people do. That's what other coaches do. Yeah. And that's why they are empowered. We get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm trying to connect. I'm yeah. trying to work. Like you said, I want to build an empire. Yes. I can't build an empire by myself. And yeah. it's in the empire, is different. You got different sections in the empire. You got different wings. It's not just one big thing and, oh, yeah, this is my castle. No. And this wing, you got somebody that you got to go run into over there. Mm -hmm. A whole yeah. different president. So I got to get with soldiers. I got to get with other generals that really want to connect and build you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and that's what i'm looking for right now yeah that's what i'm learning too i literally do everything by myself i'm my own editor You're I'm my it. own. You're <laughs> thank you it. so much i really appreciate You're that but i'm learning to accept She's help accept help accept help but it's like at the same time it's like nobody can do it the way you can do it nobody has what you have in your head about like the mm -hmm. way you want it to be done but i definitely respect that you have employees you mm -hmm. have like a whole business you have like like what you explained earlier about how you don't have to you don't think about yourself you think about other people you want right. your team to win so explain to like go into that thanks no so i'm not gonna lie like at first i was it was just me you know then i brought on my roommate which was my manager at the time you know so even that experience was like you know it was like okay it's both of us but we grinding together mm -hmm. but like now it's me and my two partners business partners so now we got two other owners you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and they working but we also have other employees that's under us and just like you know that we have to make sure that responsibility is there and it's not like and we don't call like i, I don't like really using the word employees that's mm -hmm. really like my partners that's yeah. my partners so that, that, that we work together mm -hmm. because we're out here spreading the love yes i may cut you a check into my like you know yeah i do mm -hmm. that and put you yeah, on payroll yeah mm -hmm. payroll but we're spreading the love together yeah. you get what i'm saying now with you i want to say all you have to do is just build a system like you said nobody can build it like you and nobody can do it like you but you could build a system yeah. like you just write everything you down like how you just came up in here like how do mel set up her podcast like mm -hmm. all you gotta do is write that down boop, 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 boop. and somebody else can come set this up all you should do is just mm -hmm. come in and just sit down and take your footage send that to your editor you know what i'm saying that's across seas oh that my gosh you pay, that sounds so good <laughs> that you pay for three dollars you know what i'm saying an hour to edit your content or maybe like you know you form a relationship with these people man like you know you could go like across seas and get these virtual assistants mm -hmm. look into this i'm telling you and they could take all like this footage all you have to do is take your memory card and send it to them they go edit it up and you could tell them exactly how you wanted it or you could have hey reference from this video, it's a yeah. whole walk. We wow. need to talk. We definitely yeah. need to talk. We definitely this other way can just make it just gonna make your time easier and you'll be able to do even more. Like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that makes so much sense. And it's less stressful as well. Thanks. But I hate saying but I hate saying but. Ain't no but. Let me just end it. Ain't right no here. buts. Ain't no but. I like that. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Ain't no but. Ain't no but. Put it in the comment below right now. <laughs> ain't no but. Hashtag ain't no but. Hashtag ain't no but. <laughs> Period. Straight out of Chicago, look up. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Wait, is that Chicago thing? It what? Period. I don't know. No, I'm talking about. I, I think that's Miami. I think they came out of Miami. No, nah, I was just you straight from Chicago, so yeah. I'm just saying yeah. Chicago in this. Look, look, look. So okay, look, I take. So. Man, hold on. I, I'm gonna interview you now. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Interview so look, you. talk like, about I you. So I want, I want to know about your experience. How was your experience? You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> in LA killing the game. Yes. You bringing all these dope influences and just you killing it. Like, talk about that. Like, how has your experience been? And what should they expect from Miss Melody? <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> You're right. Oh my gosh, LA is amazing. Like, right. it's just filled with just so many inspiring people, as I told him before. If you guys don't know, LaDante is trying to make that big move to LA. I'm trying to get him out here, y'all. Comment below, tell him to bring his butt out here. I don't know. We and gonna see. Stay. We gonna see. We gonna see. I don't know. LA or Bob. LA or Bob. Yeah. Definitely like somewhere that you could come visit and just do your thing and go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, but no, nah, I really respect what you do. But you give LA, like, you give Santa Monica. You so, give Rodeo Drive. I'm you know from Chicago. What I'm I've been here for almost four years now, and it's crazy saying Thanks. that. I really had to 
adjust to LA. To be honest, I told I think I've mentioned this earlier on my other podcast. I've never been depressed until I went to LA. Like mm. that's when I really had to sit with myself and like figure out life, you know? Mm -hmm. And college is different because you still kind of sort of have your parents, you have mm -hmm. your, your friends that's around there all the time. Like, right. but when you move to another, like, you know, another place by mm -hmm. yourself, because I've done it before when I moved to Baton Rouge and like, I'm like, okay, so if I can do it in Baton Rouge, I can do it in LA. You're right. You know, <laughs> LA is like, you know, if I make it in LA, I, I made it. <laughs> but if I made it anywhere else, it's like, uh, you ain't really, really, really made it unless yeah. you made it in LA, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and do it. So it's just like, I just gotta just tell myself, you got this. And I really think about it. Like, the more I think about it, the more I stress myself out about it. Mm -hmm. Just not even think about it, just do it. Facts. So let me, can I talk, can I say this? Yes, I, of course. So <laughs> I love what, I love that, like what you just said. The only thing that I want to change the trajectory is why do we have to feel that, that we have to be here in order to feel that we made it. Like, mm. I see so many billionaires and multi-millionaires like killing it, like you know, from other places. And like you know, what I'm, saying? I'm not saying that yeah, money. It, it depends it makes on what your in exactly, industry is. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, I'm not saying that money make you successful, mm -hmm. like or make you like that's that's all it is because, like you said, it depends on your industry. Mm -hmm. Like your industry may be like. Uh, it's in it's LA, here. it's here, you know what I'm saying? Here. So that makes sense. I like LA, it's dope, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely from Houston. Not saying that Houston better than LA. What is Houston in comparison to LA though? LA is dope, like you said, in society is like yeah. where you want to be, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But like Houston is like the it place. Everybody coming to Houston, like even the people from LA, they come into Houston. It's yeah, just, they, they it's, are. It's, it's, it's affordable. It's it is big, affordable. you know what I'm saying? The food is good, you know what I'm saying? It's not in Louisiana, but it's right there, so you still get the best of both worlds, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like, it, Houston got like so much of everything. Like it got Chicago, it got some Cali. It got so much of everything that you gonna feel like. I just feel like anybody will feel like home in, in yeah, Houston. Yeah. But it's not even about that. It's just Houston growing too in the industry. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? As far as like the opportunities. At first, when I was growing up, they didn't have a lot of opportunities for influencers or for like content creators and stuff. That wasn't even a thing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So like, but now they have so much, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's cheaper. <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Let's like this. I mean, and I'm not saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, money is not a thing. When you're thinking about going, you're not thinking about the money. But when you want to be comfortable and you want to grind and you want to live and you mm -hmm. want to, you know, make an impact, yeah. you have to consider those things. <laughs> yeah. Kind of uh, backtracking to jig aerobics. So what is some advice that you would give a male entrepreneur, any type of entrepreneur who wants to start their own brand or business from Facts. the just nothing? Man, don't stop and keep going. You gotta believe in yourself one. If you listen to anybody else besides yourself, I promise you, you're gonna stop. Because mm. nobody's gonna see your vision. God did not give them that vision. They didn't download it, they didn't download it mm. into their head. It's your vision. When I said, I'm gonna do jig aerobics, everybody laughed at me. Wow. There was only one person that was like, you should do it. And that was the president. Sha Sha Shaquille Dillon, yeah. Shaq pushed it too. But I'm saying the person that was in that office that day when we had to present, and there was the president, Jawan Sims. You know what I'm saying? He was the president of Men's Federation. He was a member of Beta Sig. Jawan Sims pushed me to, hey, you need to do this. Hey, I think you let it go. Everybody else was like laughed. But they was all supportive because we had to. But like, you know what I'm saying? They all supportive. Not saying that they wasn't supportive. Like, them was genuinely my friends. So they was like going to support. But they, Genuinely laughed at me. They too. laughed at the idea that yeah. ended up on Shark Tank, y'all. Oh, what mama, the hell? So if I could do it, I like man. I'm from South Park, Houston, Texas, so you know what I'm saying. It's unheard of to even just have this conversation right here in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying. People don't even come to the South Side or the North Side of Houston. If you from mm -hmm. the North Side, you may not even been to the South Side. If you from the South Side, you may not even been to the North Side. Mm -hmm. So just to be able to just do the things that like God have blessed me to be able to do, I'm very mm -hmm. thankful. What advice would you give to somebody who's wants to start their own brand? Man, don't stop. Don't listen to it like anyone. If it's you, if this something that you want to do and you know genuinely in your heart that it's going to go, do it. How about they haven't started yet? They haven't even begun. They haven't even started the planning process. What is the number one step of just like getting just started? You got to know what you want to do first. Yeah, just know, know what you want to <laughs> like, do. You got to know what you want to do. Like if, if you don't know what you want to do, like mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you can pick up and do anything. You can mm -hmm. start selling marbles. You can start selling rocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But that's not what you, that, well, that's not like, you know what I'm saying? Figure out what you want to do. Figure out like what's your gift and what you feel like doing that you're going to do for free. Mm -hmm. Because like this podcast, like, we got to do this for free, you know, until it start making until money. Start making when we make a content, we got 
got to make content for free until mm -hmm. they start making money or until we start getting booked. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a process. So that's how I look at it. Like, figure out what you want to do and start doing it and actually start doing it. Like, yes. don't wait on like, oh, I got to get this gear. I got to get this. I got to get that. You have a cell phone in your hand. Get it. Get it going. You can write your notes. You can do whatever you want on this cell phone. Look it up on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Look up your niche. Like, okay, if I'm, uh, say for instance, if you like makeup, okay? Mm -hmm. You like makeup. Look up how to build a makeup business. Do your research. You can do your research, but they have AI, artificial intelligence, that could build your whole business for you. He just told me about this, y'all. Like, I never heard of that. Oh, my mama, man. Y'all have to start taking advantage of this, the software. We look at it like, oh, that's crazy. There's robots. Yeah, the robots going to build your business. The robots is going to add value. The robots is going to put money in your pocket. You could go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Remember that. Write this down. Write it Chat down, GPT, and you could put in how to build any niche you can put in any niche how to build a, a hairstyle how to build makeup how to build a fitness how to build you want to sell soft ice god damn it you can look up how to build the soft ice and it's going to build this it's going to build it off for you you could talk to it like it's your friend i talk to it like it's my homie i call him mr gpt you feel me mr gpt me and him have conversations utilize these artificial intelligence no. so if you have a niche that you have once you figure out hey this is what i want to do Go to ChatGPT and say, build out this business. Now, it's gonna build it out, but you have to actually put it, like you gotta go and actually put this into work. You can't just look at the plan. You can't just, oh yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Put it down. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta put the work behind it. Faith without work is dead, Yeah. you know? So have the faith that, hey, this is gonna work. Then you gotta put in the work behind the faith. Oh my mom. That's the perfect way to put it, Ladon. Oh. I'm so glad. So that's my that's my my yeah. little yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, okay, that's really good advice for somebody who's trying to start a business. And don't be scared about it. Like, really, just pray mm -hmm. about it and pray. Just literally, just let it go. And, and just, don't stress either. Yes, don't that's stress. most important. It's hard to say don't stress though. Really? As an entrepreneur, is it? Yeah. I mean, it's all about how you perceive it. It's all about how you do it. Because I could say don't stress and I could go out here and stress tomorrow. Right, but, you don't got enough money to pay your bills, you right. stressing. But but when you look at it like, I, I, so when I say don't stress, I'm talking about don't stress on things you can't control. Mm -hmm. Like things yeah. you can't control, it's just like, I can't control that. So I'm not about to stress or I'm not about to weep and whine about it. But if I know that I got a bill that's due and I could control that, mm -hmm. Then yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go control. I'm gonna make that happen. That's not stress. That's just getting your ass up and making the shit happen. Yeah. So I don't, I'm, I, I don't look at it like you know, like stress is when you can see your family member on the hospital bed and you looking like, dang, what I can do? There's nothing I could do about this situation. This is happening right now. Mm -hmm. That's stress. Goddamn it. Like, so I don't want to hear nothing about. Oh, I gotta go do this content and I gotta go make this. You better make it happen. Yeah. Oh, my mama. <laughs> it's so good to get a male perspective here on this podcast, y'all. So <laughs> You're right. Let's, let's talk about, okay, another question. So this you. is LaDante. So how old are you right now? 27. 27 years old. 27. So you as a 27-year-old grown man, looking mm -hmm. back, what advice would you give 20-year-old you now? 20-year-old? Oh, let me go back to so seven years. What was I seven years? I was at Southern. Yeah, he was a 20-year-old you. What, oh, what advice man. would you give that 20-year-old man? Man, I was high head still. Like, I still wasn't, like, trying to do nothing. Like, I wasn't taking stuff serious. I was still childish and, and acting crazy and still wanted to be goofy. You got to understand, once God revealed, like, hey, this is what you should do, you got to go hard. Mm -hmm. Like, God revealed it a while back, but I didn't go hard into, you know, I'm not saying it was too late. It's definitely not too late. Mm -hmm. Never too late. But I didn't go hard until like, oh man, like, can I, I'm gonna I'm get personal. So get personal. I wanted to, oh, I wanted like, my biggest dream was to buy my mom a house. Mm -hmm. I wanted to buy my mom a house. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that. I didn't take advantage of the time that I had, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't do what I needed to do because I was having fun and being goofy, you know what I'm saying? And I lost that opportunity to be able to provide that. So now that's something to stress about. Like now I feel guilty, like, damn. I was never able to do that because my mom's gone, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be able to provide her that. No matter how much money I make, no matter how much money I make in the future, I will never be able to do what I always wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's just one thing that you would like, you would say that, that you wanted to buy your mom a house, but how did that change though now, now that so, you're older? it's more of uh, like, let's get it, like how you was like, man, you don't even care if like, people watch you. No. Like, I'm working. Like, this is my work. Yeah, this is my job. Yeah. So, I don't, 
like even like being out here like i like you know talking to a lot of different influencers and not saying nothing bad about them but like they have other jobs like they have like this is my this is like a side hustle you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying or this is like something that they do for fun. This is what I do. Yeah. Like I pick up yeah. my camera and I make money and I make an impact and I'm yeah. spreading the love and I'm spreading the cheese. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're not stopping. What? And I really appreciate that. Like that's so motivational. Like mm -hmm. even though you see that like, okay, these are my goals. And even though I didn't achieve them in the time that I thought that I was going to achieve them, I'm still putting one foot ahead of the other and I'm Thanks. still working towards that goal. So eventually I will get there. It may not be the time that I plan, but Thanks. I will get there. Oh, now it's for now nah, it's for my kids yeah like it's for the future like you know i'll be damned if i do all this work and my kids don't reap no benefits from it i'll be like i'll be got it. like i what yeah. like slap me <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure like yeah everything is good but most importantly not just me like i know we're talking about me 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 i got a team i got people that work like with me you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying I want to make all them billionaires like mm -hmm. you know what i'm that's saying the goal. yeah like yeah. like i'm sitting up right now we sitting in front of a couple that's you put their salaries together they 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 big mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying there's like almost two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. like it's no sitting in front of us right now you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying y'all if you guys are listening kiana and dj are actually here <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but like you get what I'm saying like when you see stuff like that like you just see these are two individuals that really did what they supposed to do Hey, look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play set a plan and execute the plan. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's that's inspiring. That's motivational and when you have individuals like that and you have them and they invite you and be in their wedding and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You be like, yeah, like you appreciate that. That make you like, okay, it's possible. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you like to have people who are inspiring. What? That's and, inspiring. And who are moving up in the world and have goals Facts. to be around you. Oh, you don't no, want to no. have nobody who's staying at the same level though. Like your whole entire friendship, your whole entire life. Yeah. You want people to constantly elevate so you can elevate with them. We can both elevate together. Elevate others while you elevate yourself. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my mama dropped the hashtag yes. below. <laughs> and I definitely want to mention because earlier we, like I said, we had went on the Runyon Canyon hike and we just saw just so many big, beautiful houses in Los Angeles. And just, Thanks. it was so inspiring just to see. And we manifested like this. We're going to, what is, yeah. what do you manifest? Hey, we, I'm getting the house in the hills. Yes. And I'm getting the house in the hills. I'm going to drop a couple of meals. I'm going to drop a couple of meal on the house on the hill. <laughs> it might as well. Like, might as well. it's going to be worth it. My kids going to enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, my and it was interesting you guys he asked me he said what do you see yourself in the next three years you said three years i could have said five but that's too yeah. far three years is far <laughs> next year is far for you. Yeah, like, i don't it. know what i would I'm, i don't even know what i'm doing tomorrow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no for real like so thinking that long term like three years it really like kind of made my mind kind of a little boggle a little bit and i was just like you know what i don't like to talk about that like i told him i was like i don't like to talk about it because i don't like to set expectations and if i don't reach those expectations then i'm like kind of disappointed and like you know so i just like to go with the flow did i help give you a different perspective yeah so explain to them what you said to me <laughs> it's more so just like you have goals and you see where you want to go mm -hmm. and you have god to provide you to that goal like you said you don't want to have stress thinking about man i gotta get here i gotta get mm -hmm. here but at the same time it's good to manifest stuff and have a goal to work towards to instead work, of yeah. just just flowing going with the flow just blowing in the wind just like mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna just let god lead me yes <laughs> god let god lead you but actually yeah. have a plan and then like he knows what's in your mind so he's Thanks. gonna like he knows what's in your heart and he's in your mind so he's gonna put it into action there you go it's gonna always be covered yeah so i, so I appreciate that no problem. i appreciate no problem. that you know god puts people in our lives to change our perspectives and the way we live so it's just good to have people who are constantly growing and inspiring you throughout your life and every day because lord knows i need the push every day as an entrepreneur <laughs> have somebody tell me go ahead and make that kind of team because I, I can't like i told him nobody's calling me like girl wake up get out the bed and make some content record a video right do your hair do something to your face like i don't be feeling like it. i don't feel like it sometimes so you better just, get up hey you just gotta get up and get it you and collaboration is key too i like the fact yeah. that you've been doing a lot of collaboration yes like, it humbles you too as well yeah. because i had some people say no mm -hmm. <laughs> and i was like i had to humble myself i was like 
Wait, why? Why don't you want to be a part of my podcast? Yeah, like, why you want to be a part? This okay, my podcast. Look, right. This is, like, okay. You know who I am. I am. But Debbie. I had to tell myself, like, you know what? It's okay. It was for you. It's for you. And the people who come on is doing what they have to do to make this show what it is, Thanks. inspiring and like touching people. And that's what I feel like my purpose is throughout this podcast to just touch people and inspire people every day. You know, I feel Thanks. like that's my purpose in life. Period. You doing it? You doing it? Keep going. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Keep going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this segment of the last segment of this podcast, which is supporters' questions. Mm. So I know that y'all asked me a couple questions. They asked some questions. Yeah, they asked some questions. For real? Like, oh. I seen you post it. I was like, I, I wonder if they asked some questions. <laughs> yeah. The people don't like me like that. <laughs> no, they, they, they like you. They don't be me. worried about me like that. They, they was excited that she was on that she was coming on the podcast. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yes, they know you. They What's know up, you. people? I like yes. y'all too. Yes. <laughs> I'll be standing in my little bubble, just be jigging yes. my little life away. I'll be doing <laughs> what be going on. And if you guys, I didn't even shout you, your Instagram out. Go Man. ahead and do your social. But they know Ayo Tay. Ayo Tay on everything. A everything. Ayo underscore Tay. Ayo. Three underscores. Three underscores. Oh, my mama. Ayo underscore Tay. It's on Instagram. Instagram, Instagram TikTok, yep. YouTube. There's LaDante Lots on YouTube. LaDante Lots on YouTube. Yeah. Make sure you guys go Check support in, him. Subscribe. It. Go to jigarobics.com, right? Facts. And we go to, we gonna just drop the links in below. Yeah, Jig we're we gonna Jigarobicsfitness.com. Yes. Jigarobicsfitness.com. <laughs> we have a subscription for a dollar. A dollar? It's only a dollar. Come on now. Yeah, somebody told me I was dumb. They were like, why is he doing that? Like, no, you're no, dumb. No, it's affordable. You're dumb. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't need this content. These people need this. Yeah, they can put, they, it's a dollar. I don't mind. They can, they, they can have this. It's a dollar, bro. And not no gimmick like, oh, I'm, it's a dollar tomorrow. Then 25. No, <laughs> it's a dollar, bro. Like, it's just a dollar. Like, Right. It's for y'all. I don't care. <laughs> yes, we appreciate that. Facts. It's Shoot. for y'all, man. Go yes, and right. we have so many. Like, tell them about your workshops because I know you had some um with Maya. There's some with Kayla G. Facts. Tell them. Tell them. Get into yeah, it. Yeah, like, we got. We got. We the collab. Stuff. Yeah, the collaboration. Like I said, collaboration uh -huh. is key. We did some digital workout kits, so we changed the game yeah. with how digital DVDs is presented. So yeah. we call them digital DVDs. It's like because you know at the time I wanted to drop DVDs, but the production was out because of COVID. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was hard to get stuff produced so we was like you know what let's do digital dvds so we collab with danny you know uh, what i'm yeah, saying Daniel oh Stepper. danielle stepper that was great mm -hmm. then we collab with uh kg yeah Kayla uh, of course jay said like you know what i'm uh -huh. saying she brought her style yeah. and it was dope you know and, and what they did was we took their style of dancing and made it into a workout the hbcu majorette, HBCU majorette uh -huh. style you know what i'm saying of course you know a lot of people have been doing it after that but mm -hmm. i don't care that's what we made it for we want people to copy and do that type yeah. of things like that's I don't mind, like often yeah. in, uh, imitating never, <laughs> never duplicate. <laughs> so it, it's like so I've been seeing a lot of that because at first I'm looking it up to see like what's that like what's that out and I didn't see it. I'm like uh -huh. everyone is dancing like uh, they all make videos on TikTok, jigging. but not 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 even jigging. They they not even jigging on this. This is like specifically your style. Like yeah. say fans is like your heel class. Like I wouldn't be like yeah you got a jig in your heel class. Nah, this mm -hmm. is your heel class. This is you. This is your community buying your stuff supporting you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna produce it. We gonna, you know, we gonna shoot everything. We gonna edit it up. We gonna get it right. We gonna market it. We gonna sell it for you. We gonna do all that stuff. We gonna show you the, our layout of how we, we call it the milking cow. You want to milk a cow? Uh -huh. This is what you need to follow. Uh -huh. You go, we have a live. We go live. We do different posts. It's very strategic. <laughs> it's very strategic, Ooh, but it works. It, it. <laughs> it works, but Danny was our first time doing it. Yeah. Then KG was our first time doing it. Then like after that, it was just like, you know, let's just start collabing brenda and maya we did the uh the couples retreat for couples you know yeah. what i'm saying we did a uh, that was funny brenda and maya yeah they was funny they was goofy they, ah, that was funny <laughs> as hell. they played too much bro they but it was fun and uh, it was fun like just to have a different perspective because like you know jigger robots has always been like fun and playful and yeah. goofy so like now you got like this couples retreat and they like being grown and sexy like you know it's like you're yeah. like you bringing a different element like you know what i'm saying yeah. and that's more what i want you know, our network to be like Jigger Robots is not just Jigger Robots no more. Jigger Robots is a Jigger Robots fitness network. Yeah. You know, and oh, so wow. it's a fitness network now. So now we have different instructors, we have different wow. programs, we have different workshops, all from early age to senior citizens. We have Super Soul, we have Go Go Get Right, <laughs> we have PE with Jigger Robots, we got It's Me, oh which is God, mindful so engagement cool. active exercises. So you have different things that, that we're in tapping into. Man, we do professional development with teachers, like, you know, 
where we sit down with them and we're talking to them about how to make your environment better for your students. Your students don't like you. Your students don't your like students you. Your students don't like you. Your students don't like you. And this is why the students don't like you. And you, you don't like the students. And this is why you don't like the students. Because sometimes it's not always your fault. Mm -hmm. It's their fault. You may not like them. Because they, they be having stuff going on too. But we're going to fix all that. We come in, we fix all of that. And we make it a different environment. Cheese beer. The place of joy happens. Explain to them what the cheese is. The cheese is your smile, baby. <laughs> the cheese. I thought the your cheese was the money. Happening. I thought the cheese. See, hey, if that make you happy, hey, keep it up. But the cheese is your joy and happiness. It's your smile. It's how you live. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and y'all, that's, if you guys do not know LaDante, this is his slogan. Every time you see him around campus, anywhere, <laughs> keep your cheese up. Oh, and it's like so, like, it's infectious. Like, You're right. it makes you want to smile whenever he says that. It's just amazing. I just love it. I, I appreciate love it. it. You gotta <laughs> start giving me that many compliments. <laughs> I, I ain't know y'all really rock with me like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I, it's we cool. Have to it's, get love. You on the it's love. It's so love. love. It's love. It's love. It's love, it's love. All right, let's go ahead and get into the questions from our supporters. Oh, um, I forgot we even had questions. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, the first question is. Oh Lord, hold on, wait. Do I gotta sign a, a waiver or anything <laughs> like that? No, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. How do you go about choosing who you collab with? How do I go about choosing who I collab with? Energy. 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 Like I don't care how many follows you got. I don't care. How much money you got, yeah. I wanna go know your energy. Like if your energy not good, I mm -hmm. can't rock with you. Yeah. Like I work with people like that had thousands and millions of followers, but energy was just terrible. Like, but I'm good on that. Like literally, like I need to be able to buy with you. And, and it gotta be like you gotta be of some substance and yeah. of value. Not saying a lot of people, but some people just create, like, right. you know, just because, you know what I'm saying? I'm creating with a purpose. I create with a purpose. Like this is for mm -hmm. to infect people and make people smile. Yeah. Like when I'm putting out something, yeah, you might see the girl shaking her butt, but that's not I'm not putting that out. Like, because it's uh, a sexual thing. I'm putting it out to get your fucking attention. Mm -hmm. So that way you can watch this workout video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you go get up and do their moves. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why it's, it's, everything is strategic. And if, and if long as you like, you're doing it and you're going about that, I could collab with you. Yeah, and it's crazy yeah. because y'all was telling LaDon say some YouTube advice as if he needed it. Y'all checked his YouTube <laughs> page. He got more subscribers than I do. I was like, what the hell? When did LaDon say get so many subscribers? I and I seen that he was collabing. He collabs with this girl. What's her name? Big Jazz. Big Jazz. That's my baby. I'm coming home, baby. I'm it's coming so funny, home. They be making content. Tell them about Big Jazz content. <laughs> Man, now with, uh, me and Big Jazz been knowing each other for years, ever since I was in high school. So that's my dog, like, yeah. and like she had been said, like, take, we need to do YouTube, like, we need to do our energy, like, they love us. They and like I was like, man, I don't want to do that. That's the fake. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't, don't want to do that. That's, man, I don't want to do all that. I always downplayed it because I always felt like I had to protect my brand, which is why that's why I'm like, man, let's do you like yeah. don't worry about what society say oh we have to be in this place to to feel like we made it or we have to do this man if you want to create you some content in the midst fun create you some content have I fun love that. man be you we don't know how much time on this earth mm -hmm. so no, enjoy it the artist who just passed out on the stage Bro, and like literally just died out of nowhere while he's performing something. while he's performing yeah. i know he's living his dream but the fact that like you don't know when your time is gonna Never. come Enjoy yourself, bro. Nobody got time to be worried about what nobody got to say. So anyway, Jazz came up to me and she like, let's make content. I'm like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't look doing at it now. Man, it blew up. Yeah, like, it blew look. up. Like, it blew up. It went crazy. Like, and then I stopped because I started thinking again. Like, oh, people like, uh, uh. <laughs> it was really like the after the pregnancy uh, prank because we did a pregnancy prank and a lot of we had a lot of people with mixed emotions like oh y'all shouldn't have did that but it's yeah. content like yeah. and y'all watch all this love and hip hop and yeah. and um Jocelyn <laughs> and stuff like bro <laughs> like Jocelyn. this is don't tell me nothing about what we doing on YouTube like it's yeah. fun like yeah. but anyway we didn't we never I never wanted no one to feel like I like I like I wasn't a human or I didn't care like I didn't have a, a a loving soul like I care about people like so I don't want nobody to be like oh they like oh, look at me in a negative light mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I kind of start oh, worrying about what society have to say again oh I'm about to go back though well, so YouTube videos is coming back YouTube coming but the back. thing is when I collab with Jazz like her energy like the energy was there it was always good and when I feel realized that it was actually like real people like there's professionals there's doctors and lawyers mm -hmm. that was like this is funny, like y'all. When you and Jazz making some more content, like I'm like, oh, I didn't even know you was watching that. Like yeah, I, didn't, uh -huh. I didn't even know this that was. Old ass lady yeah, I didn't even know you tapping into that. Like, 
they tapping into that for real. So I'm not gonna lie, like that just made me like feel a little bit different about content. Like everybody don't consume content as if it's real life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. content. Yeah, and I want people to start making more realistic content. A lot of people like, especially workout people, people like be posting what they eat. That's not what you eat. Come on now. That's not what you eat. I have friends who be like posing and be like, yeah, this is what I do for my it, brand. It's the it's, it, it's the facade. It's the facade. Yeah. If you be real, be like, you know what? This is what I wanted to eat, but I was still hungry, so I still ate it. But I can <laughs> go work out even more to like, you know, make up for it. But yeah. I still can keep my body. That's more realistic than just posting that little thing. Be like, oh yeah, this is what I ate in a day. Facts. No, the hell you did it. A little cracker. Yeah, be kids. realistic, content yeah, man. creators. Yeah, man. Nah, I just just be you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You, like, be you. Be, be, be you. Be authentic. Yeah, because be that's you. what people gravitate to. I feel. Just like. be you. Just have yeah. fun and collaborate. We answer. What was your experience being the leader of the dance group with the SU Human Jukebox? How about no facts. we? We kind of did. Did you want to add anything to that? I mean, that was. I mean, you know, that was a, a a hell of a experience. Like just being able that that set the foundation to everything that I'm doing now. Like yeah, the fact that um, they, they appointed me to be over the dance routines. Like I had to learn the style, so I had to go out. I was forced to go out to learn jigging, to learn the Louisiana style. Mm. And after I learned, I'm like, wait a minute, it's not just dancing. <laughs> Why am I sweating, my dog? No. This is a workout, so. It's so hard. Yeah, oh, it's not hard. If, if you could run. If, if you from. You could do jumping jacks. I feel like, okay, yeah. If you could do jumping jacks and you could run, you could jig. I'm telling yeah. you, once you put those elements together and you just add a little bounce and your shoulders, I'm telling you, that's, that. I mean, like I said, it, it evolved over the years. That's like, where is that now? But like, first it's the lead, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the old school, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> man, it's a vibe. You could do that. You could do it. You're a dancer. Yeah. Fabulous dancing, dog. Period. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about, before we end out this podcast, because this is going, the conversation is going so Facts. well. We good. We, we talking that. about leaps of faith. Like, Ooh. I really wanted to bring him on this podcast because we've been talking about taking that leap of faith. For a long time. Taking that leap of faith. Like, I took that leap of faith when I moved to Baton Rouge. Facts. I took that leap, leap of faith when I moved to LA. Mm -hmm. Now you're thinking about taking that leap of faith. Facts. Tell them what's going on in your mind. What is your whole evolution, your transition of, like, trying to move to LA? Like, what is your mind process? So, like, trying to move to LA, like, it was more so, let me just be real. Be real. Yeah, facts. Man, I have a business and a company and a lot of people are out here chasing a dream. I don't have a dream that I'm chasing. I already, like, the dream is, is happening now. Mm. Like, like, I'm actually living it. So, Mic with drop. me living the dream, I'm, like, making sure everything is good. So, I don't have to come here to live here to to chase a dream when I can do what I'm doing and build and keep building, you know what I'm saying? And whenever I need to come down here, I can come create. I did give LA, uh, like, I might move down there. Mm -hmm. But after coming down here, after talking to a lot of influencers and know, and noticing, like, they don't even stay down here. And I see that and, like, you would think that it, it is, but you don't have to do that to be impactful. The way that the internet works right now, the what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. you could be in your basement. They don't know what what it is. That could be recorded at. on my phone. Right. Yeah. We saying we in LA. They don't even know if we in LA right now. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Just how the, the internet works. I could go and go take a picture on my green screen and have some cold people make it look like I'm anywhere in the world. Like it's just you could do anything, bro. As long as you put your mind to it, you got yeah. you know what I'm saying? Wow. So that's how I look at it now. I, like I ain't wanna so go dope. off. No, but I that's like, my leap to faith. Like, I'm my leap to faith. I'm glad that you mentioned yeah. that because, like, that's real shit. You can be anywhere. You don't have to be in a specific place to just make content. Because a lot of people make excuses and, like, they push it, push it, push it mm -hmm. off instead of just, you know, I gotta be here. Man, now I gotta do this. I gotta, yeah. Man, you could be anywhere in the world. You create their content. You do your thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got a full time job, you can have a full time job that you wanna create content. If it's something that you truly is passionate about. You can pick up that camera and create. And if you got a job, now you have fun to fund your mm -hmm. projects. Now your projects is going to be even boom. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. So Yeah, okay. Yeah, so from a business standpoint, how do you pitch yourself to, like, investors and people who want to, you know, invest in your brand? Like, how do you how do you do that? So I really don't pitch myself to investors just to keep it 100. Mm -hmm. I did the Shark Tank thing, mm -hmm. like, and I only said a number because I had to say a number. Oh, that's, okay. That's just... <laughs> It, it, it was the, oh, the layout okay. of the show. Okay. I could talk about it now. It was a layout of the show, but I was looking for a strategic partner. Someone that could show me the ropes and someone that could show me how to do this thing. I wasn't looking for someone that could just give me money and be like, yeah, make something happen with it and bring it back. Mm -hmm. No, nah, that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm not even, even now, I'm not even open to investors. I'm open to funders, someone that want to like 
you know, give us a grant. Mm -hmm. Someone that want to donate to our nonprofit mm -hmm. to Jacob Robis Community Project, they want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, because if you than, invest, you kind of take ownership, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, it depends on what your agreement is. Like, you can take ownership. You can have a certain percentage, like, yeah. percentage till you reach a certain number. It's mm -hmm. all about the agreement. It's just that, like, like I said, energy is. I I haven't found anyone that that have the certain energy that I would love to have invest into my company mm -hmm. unless it's a, like a mark cuban because i like his energy mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying his energy is dope i see him i mean i don't know him personally but like the way that he carry himself that he don't care is not about the money the way he just he just it's just him he don't worry about what no one has to say and he's taking care of business that's the type of people that i like to invest or or even just entertain other than that i could do this shit myself yeah facts even Sounds if i gotta go get a job and work in my field to make, you know, to fund the projects, but you can do it yourself. Yeah. Honestly. And it's crazy because I said this many times during my podcast when I was working at the hotel when in college. Oh, I remember I was just going in the hallways literally overnight every day. I was like, I hate this life. Like, I don't want to live this life after I graduate. I want to just save this money up and just move to LA and just do my own entrepreneur thing and never have a nine to five. Cause literally I've been having nine to fives my whole entire life. Like mm. I worked every single job you could think of. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to give my, my all to LA. But when I moved down here, it was LA. You That's already know me. expensive. The little money that I thought I had saved up, it was gone within yeah, a quick. couple months. So I was just like, you know, I, I can't afford LA. Like, mm. I'm definitely not moving back to Chicago or Ben Rouge. So I'm like, <laughs> do I just go ahead and get this job? Should I just get this nine to five job just for the meantime, just to pay the bills? And I'm like, like I'm gonna stick to it. Keep pushing, keep pushing my brand, keep pushing my YouTube, pray. Cause mm. God really got me through this. Like mm. God literally makes a way. Literally, as soon as like, I'm thinking like, dang, like, I don't know how I'm gonna pay rent. Like it's almost the first money just comes out of nowhere like right. out of nowhere and i told him just about about tithing mm -hmm. tithing i feel like tithing when you go to church and you tithe you think about okay i don't have this money right now so i can't tithe and that's really not the whole concept about tithing mm -hmm. the whole concept is like you're giving what you can give so you can get times 10 more than you can ever think like let god bless you by just giving what you have and like you know what god it's not just about okay i want god to bless me so i'm just gonna tithe like i'm just gonna do this just so he can bless me mm -hmm. no pray to him tell him what you want your desires this is what i want financially like this is my goals and my dreams i'm gonna give this to you to show you that this is for you i'm building this for you so god can just bless you and that's what i really want to start doing is tithing even when i don't have it Fact. just tithe. like i said i look at it like it's more of like perception not necessarily like a perception of whether the tithe or not it is more so like where your heart is not necessarily being judged off of that's where the answer comes in that like you know Cause like anybody could go give like you know money and be like yeah boom I gave that yeah I got a hundred dollars coming back <laughs> but like when you like coming from the heart and you giving even if it's not to a specific church or to a specific but you actually giving like really like giving to people that really need it yeah you know and it's coming from a genuine place yeah for you, instance Ladante yeah. got a whole suitcase full of clothes <laughs> and he was giving people the homeless people in LA his clothes y'all <laughs> literally selfless and we about to run out of batteries so we gotta hurry it's cool <laughs> <laughs> but you guys just be selfless and like just have your eyes on the prize when it comes to your goals any, mm -hmm. any other parting words you want to say to the podcast before we end this episode mm -hmm. Man, just keep your cheese up and just live your life. Life is indifferent. You don't know whether your time is gonna come, whether it's gonna go, just go. That mean you just go. When I say you go, when I say just go, go. Like have fun and do you. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Everything else is gonna flow after. I want my yeah. whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I don't, you know, no, no look back, no steps back. No looking back. <laughs> So thank you, Ladante, so no problem, much. No problem, I appreciate you. No, thank you for having me. What no. you mean? I, I'm honored. What yes. you mean? I'm on the mail show. Yes, oh, we are wow. on the Outmate TV, the <laughs> podcast episode 11. Thank you guys so much for joining in. If you guys are listening, make sure you guys rate this podcast five stars. Bing. That's how we get to the top. That's how we get to be the number one podcast oh, in America, okay? And make sure you guys go follow Ladante on all his social medias. Mm. A-O underscore Tay, three Thanks. underscores. That's Jigarobics, J-I-G-G aerobics, and Jigarobicsfitness.com, J-I-G-G aerobicsfitness.com.